Yo, let's get Killer Squad. So we're back on Madden Mobile, and today we got Brad. Today we got brand new Team of the Week players. Um, last week I didn't post a video. I apologize in advance because there was also FIFA and NBA that dropped. So I kind of try to drop videos for that. I don't think I dropped any videos for that day because there was like I think it took forever for the game to drop. I'm not 100 sure if I remember correctly, but there was a lot of stuff dropping, or the game was dropping the next day. I had to drop FIFA stuff and NBA stuff. There was so much preview stuff. So I apologize. So today we're probably gonna show you guys last. Last week's player and also this week's player but as you guys can see in the background we will show you guys who they are for this week so guys let me know in the comments down below if you guys made or pulled any of these team of the week players and yes i totally know about the 10 10 uh, what pro packs thing i agree i kind of don't like it i don't like it at all so yeah that's the biggest issue but the, the good thing about this good thing is that the price of cards has gone up so whenever you're selling stuff you get way more coins so i mean if you saved a lot of stuff you can make a lot of coins from the pro back the pro back bundle is probably the best deal right now in store for your money but anyway we're not talking about that so smash that like button let's get 200 likes pull some fire and um yeah you guys will see we'll open some packs as well so this week we got ty hilton who went off. He went ham sandwich, which is about time because I have in my fantasy as well Jacoby Brissett. So Brissett went ham and did really well for me. So we got that. Marshawn Lynch scored two touchdowns, so he definitely deserves it. We also have a defensive end at 83 overall. Um, I think his name, I forgot his name, but he's on the Titans. So we're going to go ahead and open some packs in stores. Uh, let's head to the store. We're going to open the bundle real quick. Uh, we're probably going to do two bundles. Yeah, maybe two or three bundles. I'm really not a huge fan of opening these because I don't really need these players. I'm probably just building TY just to show you guys, but I'm, I'm not really going to use him. I'm probably going to... See, I really want to do a team of the week lineup. I really do, but when you keep giving me quarterbacks and running backs, like, and, and halfbacks, I mean, halfbacks and wide receiver, like, what do you really want me to do, EA? Like, okay, Zach Brown. Oh, I, I guess it's Zach Brown a player. I guess there's more elites this week because Zach Brown is one of the players, but there's also an elite player. I'll take it. Middle linebacker for the Redskin. All right, cool. Good elite pull right there. Decent, decent. Can we get another elite? No, we do not. But we will get the topper with seven collectibles. I will take that. We're probably going to open... Okay, we're getting another team in a week. Whatever. We're going to get one. We're probably going to open maybe two of these. Maybe three of them just because we want to get enough players to at least finish these sets in case we do want to make them. And we got Marshawn Lynch. Let's go. We pulled already two elites. So one elite per bundle. That's actually really good odds. One every four pack. If we can get a second one, I will be pretty hyped. But I doubt we're going to get another elite here. And as expected, but we'll get another collectible. So we're going to go shebang. We're going to get probably one or two player this time. Might be just one. We're probably going to get just one. There we go. All right, last pack, last bundle. Last bundle, not last pack. This last bundle, if we get another elite from these, it'd be a pretty good odds. But we're like I said, realistically, pack odds are not supposed to be these nice. You're not supposed to pull an elite every single five pack or four packs. Yeah, like I, said, like I mentioned last pack. We're probably not going to get an elite. So we're going to go ahead and bang, bang. We got a kicker, though. Teddy Bridgewater probably coming back soon. So that's going to be really interesting to see. Team of the week, bang. Another team of the week pack. It might be two team of the week packs this time. Nope. All right, cool. Cool. The Clem, Clem and the rookies did really well. All right, let's go to my set. Let's see if we can finish a few players. I do have a, a lot of stuff in my bench for another video. Program. Progressions. That's what I meant to say. Programs. So if we go to team of the week. Last week, as you guys can see, it was Russell Wilson who has some pretty good stats. 83 speed, 80 agility, 80, 78 acceleration, 90 throw power, 87 throw accuracy short, 89 mid, 85 deep. This week we have T.Y. Hilton, who is 87 overall. So we do have the raise in overall, which is really good. So eventually it is what, week nine, they raise it every three weeks, I believe. So let me just double check. One, two, three, four, maybe four, maybe five. I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but we did raise the overall, so we be, we'll be getting 88s probably in a month or so. So let's see if we have enough. We are missing just one, <laughs> just one player to finish it. So I'm not gonna collect them right now, just in case you know I want to um, make another player next time it comes out. But we do have the plus. I mean, his stats are okay. Let's be honest. 86 speed, which is decent. 89 elusiveness. His catching is 84, which is like I mean it's okay. And 85 acceleration for 87 overall, it's not bad. But if you're like out of all players, like, look, let's count how many wide receiver. We got wide receiver, QB. Wide receiver, QB. Oh, we got a we got a handbag and a kicker. That was really good. Like in the beginning, it was so good. Like we had a kick returner, we had a cornerback, we had a we had a quarterback, and then we had a middle linebacker and a wide receiver, and then a kicker. And then we just got like a halfback. It's the first halfback. That was good too. But we got 
Come on, wide receivers and quarterbacks for the last four weeks. Come on, man. Just give us something new. That'd be so much better. And, oh, I have to finish this. I don't have to finish it, but I should probably finish some of these because I do have Miles Garrett, who does give plus one overall to Rising Star players. There's probably going to be another one that comes out soon, so we'll see. But there's probably not enough weeks left, so I don't know. I'm interested to see what happens, so yeah. But team of the week-wise, um, I do like opening the packs. I like the players. Some players are really worth better, but... These two, I mean, this I can't really make a team of the week lineup. I'm kind of kind of cheats about that, guys. All right, that's it for today. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to let me know in the comments down below if you guys made any of these player and who did you pull from the packs if you opened the packs. You know, there's cash pack, there's one cash pack, one coin pack, half cash pack is what I meant to say. If you want to see my latest videos, it's going to be on the right side of the screen. If you haven't yet, don't forget to subscribe and make videos on it daily. All right, I'm out. See you guys next time. Kill it. Wow.